What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Listen, bro. And we are jumping back into Breaking Bad, man. Basically wrapping up this season. I think what this is the last episode. We got two more. Season four has been amazing so far. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it as much as we have. Make sure you guys head over to the Patreon and check the Patreon out. We have tons of content over there. And by the time you guys get this, we should be done with the Breaking Bad series. So if you want to jump ahead and finish the series, you can do so by heading over to Patreon and subbing up. And then we'll also leave a link for our merch website. So if you want to jump in there and grab something for yourself, you can do so. But without further ado, let's jump back into Breaking Bad. Let's get it. Skyler, what? I'm not going. What? I'm not going to Hank and Marie's. I'm not going anywhere. But you said we're in danger. Yes, that's true. Because of me. No one will be safe at Hank's if I'm there. Walt, it's the DEA. Skyler, you don't know these people. How am I supposed to explain that to Marie or, or, or Junior or, or Hank for that matter? I don't know. You really expect me to say, okay, Walt, sure, just stay here and... No. There's got to be another way. There isn't. For the money. How long till you're safe? Till you can work this out? Never gonna be safe. I have lived under the threat of death for a year now. And because of that, I've made choices. I alone should suffer the consequences of those choices. No one else. Damn, it's a W move by Walt, though. They're coming. At least he took accountability for the shit he been doing. <laughs> Man, Holly Molly. That fake-ass baby crying. Show the commercials and shit. <laughs> All right, Holly, goddamn. <laughs> Listen, them consequences is coming. Just the years, my boy. Boy, the face is you there? Didn't they start the season off like this with him sitting in his chair by himself? Oh, nah. Time for you. Yeah, do that. The times in the row is crazy. Now, Hank already got shot once. Got in the shootout one time. You get another call like that, you gotta have everybody out there. He's going to risk his life over a stupid car wash? Does he even understand what's going on with Uncle Hank? He'll come when he's able. That's pathetic. Lay off your mom. Well, you know, Hank, we wouldn't even be arguing about this if you and Steve would just make him come. We are not all in danger here. Will you stop saying that? That is asking for trouble. Hank don't even care. This whole thing's just a damn smokescreen. How do you mean it? A smoke screen. Well, no, with an anonymous threat against me, I'm stuck in a wheelchair, I'm not even on the job. And also, Wait I'm a locked down for my whoa, own protection. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, you, did you say Wait, what? From, from the chicken restaurant? Hank, what are you talking about? I think Los Poyos Hermanos is a front for the biggest meth distributor in the Southwest. And the fact is that the scumbags that hit you first were Mexican cartel, not some German multinational whatever. Remember that laundry I told you about? I'd start there. Come on, man. Ah, Jesus. It's a perfect spot for a meth super lab. But if you were, there's no way in hell a judge is gonna give me a search warrant. Search warrant? We're having a good old fashioned knock and talk. He's so annoying. What if he see fucking Walt's car out there? Nah, you gotta start killing people now. That is way too close. Everybody, I think, not, not everybody, but most of these workers know what's going on. Yeah, they're not gonna see Can nothing. I help you? Yes, sir. A friend and I, we were wondering if we could take a look around. I had to check on my boss, and he's out of town, and you know, I can't promise I'll be too many times soon either, you know? Well, yeah, that's probably the way to go. So I'll have to go get a warrant. Be less trouble if it was just us two. But, your call. He finessing right now, I ain't gonna lie. And I feel Dennis, though, like, he probably, he probably know what's going on, but then again, it's like, this is a lesser of the two evils. Even though he not gonna be able to tell Gus, I'll at least call oh. Gus and let him know. Oh, and Dennis, can you grab some of your people for us? Confuses the dog's nose. Yo, Gus is gonna kill him. Salgase. I feel like it's too far down for the dog to smell. And they got that air closed door. Shit, 
Jesse probably down there. This is showing us just how close everybody is. How long we gotta be quiet down here? Till they leave, boy. And what happens after this? I'm gonna be like snuck down here in a laundry hamper for the rest of eternity. Now I'm going on record. This, uh, this blows. For you. I'm trying to be mad mysterious like give me the fucking phone this is all a result of your former partner Do oh yeah he fired him you know i get it the guy is a complete and total dick but i can't i'm not signing off like i said if something final happens to mr white we are going to have a problem now nah, shout out to jesse for holding this ground man Standing ten toes the wall. If I can't do nothing to wall, I'm gonna have to start killing DEA, there will be an uh, DEA agents. Appropriate. What does that mean? Kill Hello. Gomez. Kill Hank. So all this shit stop. The only reason they keep going on is because Hank. If he kill Hank, Walt can't really like fuck up production because they got Jesse. So Jesse don't really care about Hank anyway. They're gonna have to like cement that fucking stairwell and make that shit look like that shit was never there. They're gone. We're good. Go ahead and start cooking. Right back to it. Look at his car parked out the way. You have reached Walter White. At the tone, please state your name, number, and the reason for your call. Thank you. Skylar White, yo. You have six new messages. Hey, kid. It's me, Goodman. Give me a call, would you? What's up? Just waiting for me, yo. Hold up. Hold up. The hell, man? Get off of me! You're gonna stop calling me that, or I'm gonna hang you by your tie. Yeah, yeah, stop showing off for the client. Well, they're here. The end times, kid. End times. What's that mean? And why the hell are you dragging me down here for? You want your money, don't you? You haven't talked to your partner, have you? No, not since last night. Today, he didn't show up to work, and the DEA just happened to, like, raid us. When he tells me that your employer took him out in the desert and threatened to murder his entire what family, I sit up and take what? notice, because, hey, after all, what am I? I'm about to see how serious it is now. Nah, if my man gave him all his money, Nothing, huh? Clean as a whistle. That one's a different so color, though. That's something I would look for. Like, yo, why is this a different color? Ollie Light, Aunt Marie. What you doing? You cannot be outside. Hey, I'm sorry. Is it, uh, is it okay if I come out here for a few minutes? Yeah, sure. Just stay up here if you would. wonder if you have uh, an extra cigarette. I sure could use a smoke. Sure. Mm, she's stressing. Walt and I answering the phone. The last time you seen her smoke was when she's puffed that jaw with Ollie in her stomach. Yeah. At the gas station. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. What's wrong with him? Oh, shit, Andrea. Yeah. What hospital? Is this what he was talking about, about appropriate response? Where's Brock? They've got him inside. Grandma's with him. They don't know what it is exactly. It's like, it's like he's got the flu. But, but it just keeps getting worse. We're going to go ahead and admit your son to the pediatric IC. You can bring that with you. OK. So you're the boy's father? No. OK. I'm sorry. It's just we try to keep it to two visitors maximum. Hey, I'm young boy. Well, Brock was just on a game in it. But smoking that bogey too. Did you smoke the wrong one? <laughs> Did Brock smoke a cigarette? Oh my god. I'm, I'm thinking Brock may have been poisoned, okay? This is tough. This is tough. Come on. Rice. Jesse. 
there's something you're not saying, you have I, to tell me. I gotta go. I gotta go see someone. Young boy smoked a cigarette? Tweaking right now, like how the fuck? Can go to one of his bugs? Hey, well, you not about to hit nobody with that. Stop playing that snub nose pistol, bro. Take you. Shit, shoot you to the, across the street, you right? What do you want? We need to talk. Who's with you? No one, just me. Let me in. Who thinks this is the Wild Wild West? Like, bro, I'll run through that door of my car. Ah, last time him and Jesse talked, they was beefing. They took me out into the desert. They put a, a hood over my head and drove me out into the desert on my knees. They threatened my family and not just Hank. Yeah, I'd be tweaked out every car screech, anything. Why's Jesse looking like that? Oh no. Walking towards that gun. All I know is it's gonna happen. Yo! Powerless to stop him. He mad that he Why gave him that I... sit. Why? Gus gave me no choice. I had to call the DEA to protect my family. What else could I do? No. No, you son of a bitch. You know what you did. Okay. Why did you poison him? Who's Brock? You saw him in my living room just last night. You came to my door and you looked right at him. So don't tell me you don't know him. <laughs> now you point that shit at him. And only you and I were the only two people on Earth who knew about it. Wait a minute. Maybe he went into your pockets. And... No! I had the cigarette with the rice in, in my pack this morning. And this morning, I switched the cigarette into a new pack. There's no way Brock took it himself. Just then when could I have possibly gotten it? You, you had Saul do it. He called me and just had to see me today. His big man mountain bodyguard patted me down. That's when he must have sold off of me, right? Hey, what? Bro, he's stressing right now, though. Because I'm helping Gus. And this is your way of ripping my heart out before you're dead and gone. Admit it! I did not do this! Shut up! Stop lying! Possible? Could I? Who? Who would? <laughs> Stop laughing! Gus did that shit. Yeah. We have Mike or somebody do it. Waiting for Gus to send one of his men to kill me. And it's you who's allowed children to be murdered. Hmm? Gus! And now, the one thing that he needed to finally get rid of me. He did say that, though. But he manipulated you into pulling the trigger for him. No, all you and I knew about the rice. No! You don't even believe that! You don't think it's possible that Tyrus lifted the cigarette out of your locker? Come on! You're the cook and you have proven that you can run a lab without me. And now that cook has reason to kill me. No cap. Gus really the finesse guy. If you think that I am capable of doing this, then go uh, huh? put a bullet in my head and kill me right now. Man, take that snubby off my fucking forehead, you yeah? You know I do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Damn, he got the mark on his... <laughs> no, he was really pressing Yo, he's really that pressing that joint. Or was Walt really leaning into that? And find this son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill him. No! Don't. He'll see you coming. I'm going to do this one way or another, Mr. White. I'm going with you then. Then let me help. Yeah. Ah, uh, what the fuck, bro? Boy, Brock, cool. They knew what it was, you know what I mean? They could have at least... Oh yeah, if they know, know what, what they it do. is, then they can they can do? definitely help. That's Jesse. Andrew about to be so mad at him. Like the people I work for did this. Ah, oh, Jesus. Mr. Pinkman. You hear me? You understand? Mr. Pinkman, Ooh. I'm gonna call security. She's mad. Bella, like, boy, you better get your ass out of here. Yo, this was the same thing with Paint. The one episode. I really thought Walt would do that. Hey. It's Tyrus? Yeah. Yo, stop touching me. Got a batch that'll be ruined, and an employer who will be very upset if that happens. And I could give a shit 
And my employer has a problem with that. He can tell me himself. Not his errand boy. Call security! I'm being attacked! What's I'm being attacked? What the hell is what? Oh. Yeah. Ain't making a pipe bomb. Might be putting some of that rock. Bro, what the blow is crib, bro? You gotta make sure that shit worked the first time. Drop that joint in this car, blow that motherfucker up. Yeah, he put up to the hospital. I told you I'm not leaving. He's downstairs. Tyrus told me what's happening. The sick child. But Jesse, I am running a business. You can return when you're done. That little boy upstairs is dying. I can't be away if something happens. If, if I am very sorry. I am on the board of this hospital. I can recommend doctors. Make sure he gets whatever he needs. The best treatment. He was poisoned. How did that happen? The doctors, they don't know. Stay with the boy. You will start a new batch when you are ready to return. Next week. And what if he ain't do it? I think the young boy took the cigarette out of his thing and smoked, smoked that it. Drum. That's what I think really happened. He told him he could wait till next week. There you are. There you are. You don't think Mike know? Mike is that down and out? Oh yeah, he in Mexico. Yo, what if he complete this John though? Keep going. How the fuck do you know? Something might just feel off. You know you get that feel. Yeah. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Put your fucking head down, wall. Bro, you got a UAV? This nigga put his head back up. Your bald ass head gonna have the sun shining off that shit. Fucking plot armor. That's literally plot armor. That's crazy. Like, why? I'm confused. I got a feeling. Man, if I'm well, I'm leaving that shit in there until he gotta get the car back some way. That boy can leave that car there. You know how much money he got? Alright, y'all, that was the end of episode 12. They were this close. I don't know what Gus is going back in the hospital to do. That guy. Definitely trust his intuition because a lot of people just would have been like, yo, they would have felt that gut feeling like something's not right and still got in that car. But Gus was like, nah, something's wrong. He must have been thinking something else and he might go speak to Jesse again about something. But whoever beats each other to the punch is going to win this fight ultimately. So it's going to get to the point where like Gus is just not going to care about Jesse's consent anymore and just do what he has to. Ultimately, Skylar cannot slip up and say anything that, you know, that might connect Walt to what's going on. Because Hank could definitely catch on to it, especially with him looking at those photos of the laundromat. And he's going to be like, what? Didn't Walt work at a laundromat? So we already know how Breaking Bad get whenever it comes to the last episodes of the season. So next episode is definitely going to be crazy. I don't really know what they're going to do. I'm excited to see how they finish off season four. This probably has been the best season so far. He's used to having to control in each scenario that he's been in so far for the majority of the seasons that we've watched. So him not really having no control of anything, not really having any say in anything as well. I mean, I feel like that's a, that's that's hard for his ego and also like his mindset with everything. 
him not really having that money that he was running or he was uh hoping to fall back on whenever anything happened because he knew like he said that this was going to happen at some point which i feel like which is why he was trying to run up the money that way that he was and i don't really know what's going on with the fucking ted situation if my boy dead or not or we just got left off of was he hit his head off the edge of the, the table and then jesse is in a hard position too because i feel like at this point there's nothing they can really do for brock with his situation would kind of like ease the pain for him as the days and the time goes on i don't really think that she's gonna mess with jesse going forward i feel like that was the last straw that she had with him um and again that's like kind of like jesse losing jane in a way it's just he didn't want to believe i feel like he didn't want to believe that gus was the one that did that but then again i don't even know if gus did it the way he's handling the situation because like like we said young boy smoked that john but then again if jesse put it in his new new batch of cigarettes then there's no way that 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 situation happened so we'll figure it out next episode but if you enjoyed the reaction make sure this video comment down below let us know how you, you felt about this episode man we appreciate y'all thank y'all on the youtube side and hopefully you guys are enjoying breaking bad as much as we are if you want to jump to the end of season five go ahead and check out our patreon we have we love y'all appreciate y'all until the next video the kids reacting